Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's take a look at this example. Notice we have two sets of parallel lines. These two lines are parallel to one another, and these two lines are parallel to one another. Notice the indications to make it so. And now we're supposed to find the value for x and the value for y. And so how can we compare these to one another? Well, somehow through this indication right here, we should be able to work ourselves through this, this particular problem. But first, let's take a look at these two angles right here. We know that these are parallel to one another, so this line here becomes a transversal of those two parallel lines. In that case, we can see that these are two consecutive interior angles, and by the theorem of two consecutive interior angles, we know that their measure must add up to 180 degrees, which means that 5x degrees plus 14x minus 10 degrees must add up to 180 degrees. So first what we're going to do is we're going to separate this. We're going to write this as 5x degrees plus 14x degrees minus 10 degrees equals 180 degrees. Now we add 10 degrees to both sides. So we have 5x degrees plus 14x degrees equals 180 degrees plus 10 degrees. By adding 10 to both sides, this disappears. I have plus 10 on the right side. I can now combine like terms. So this becomes 19x degrees is equal to 190 degrees. Divide both sides by 19. And you can see that x is equal to 10 degrees. All right, now that we have that, how do we find the value for y? Well, first of all, notice that these are two lines that cross one another, and we can say that opposite angles must be equal, which means if this angle is 14x minus 10 degrees, then this angle must be 14x minus 10 degrees. And then if you take a look at these two parallel lines, then this becomes a transversal, and then you can say that these two angles right here are consecutive interior angles, and by definition, consecutive interior angles must add up to 180 degrees, they're supplementary, which means that 2y degrees plus 14x minus 10 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. And notice 14x, well, since x is 10 degrees, this can be written as 2y degrees plus 4 times, or 14 times 10 degrees minus 10 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So we have 140 degrees, we can write this out, 2y plus 140 degrees minus 10 degrees is equal to 180 degrees, or 2y degrees equals 180 degrees minus 140 degrees by moving this to the other side and plus 10 degrees. So 180 minus 140 is 40 plus 10 is 50. So we can continue over here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to continue over here so I don't stand in your way so you can see this. So let's not travel to the right. Let's travel to the left. And that means we can write that 2y degrees is equal to 180 minus 140 is 40 plus 10 is 50 degrees. Divide both sides by 2. And we can say that y degrees equals 25 degrees. And so x equals 10, y equals 25. And that is how we do that. 